Everyone who knows tennis knows Venus and Serena Williams, but there are female stars from all around the world dominating the courts in New York this week, including Kim Kleisters, Caroline Wozniacki, uh, Melanie Udan. We just saw Vera Zonareva uh, beating out uh, Wozniacki there. The CEO of the Women's Tennis Association joins us now to discuss this, Stacey Allister. Stacey, thanks for joining us. You know, to be here. we focus on money often, and yes. we noticed that of the five top-ranked players by money in the world right now, three of them are women. Is it safe to say that women are now playing just as big a role in tennis as the men? Well, without question. You know, we are the number one premier sport for women. <clears throat> and, you know, Serena Williams made $6.5 million last year. Uh, we had three or four athletes make more than four. So, uh, and know, this is just, I'm guessing, in prize money. It's just prize money, exactly. You know, Maria Sharapova off the court and her on court earnings, the highest paid female athlete in the world, over $20 million a year. Let me ask you about, you know, people always ask me, hey, why are you at the U.S. Open? Bloomberg News is about <laughs> Wall Street. What has tennis got to do with it? But I'm telling them we run into hedge fund guys here, Wall yeah, Street guys all over all the place. Today, you just list, no rattled question. off a name of bankers. Uh, how, how strong is the connection uh, with corporate America, with, with the global corporate picture and tennis? Well, look, it's, uh, this is what drives it. You know, you've got a, you know, quarter of a million dollar or quarter of a billion dollar stadium here, uh, 20 million in prize money. Uh, sponsorship. So the engine that drives our industry is is corporate. Uh, I wonder about the the connection to Wall Street. I mean, have you felt the pain since the downturn? Well, we we're having the best year ever. Uh, so as this world economy has gone backwards, women's tennis has gone forward. We renewed Sony Ericsson, our lead global partner. Uh, we hadn't signed a new sponsor in six years. We had two. One in Europe, a Swedish cosmetics company called Oriflame, and uh, one in Asia Pacific, a Chinese apparel company called Peak. Just last week, we got another offer for Asia Pacific in an airline, and we're really close on a title sponsorship for our year in championships in Turkey. So, um, so doing well with corporate sponsors. Yeah. You know, I thought an interesting thing, I read a story in the New York Times about how the U.S. Open uh, maybe is doing better in the recession than a lot of other sports because so many women come here you know half of the viewer uh, half of the people coming to watch are women and i would think they shop more than guys <laughs> going to football games or, be or baseball games there are so many stores retail stores here on the grounds do you feel that uh, women viewers women fans are spending more than the, the men or do you find that well it's certainly a bonanza here uh, u.s open uh, licensing is is a massive component i think one of the things about tennis is that men and women equally enjoy watching it it's a real outing uh, for families and for spouses versus going to the football game where not as many women you know it's more of a male dominated sport so we're lucky as a sport to have that nuance men and women playing on the same stage we're the only sport that that enjoys that opportunity and we truly are global we're in every single continent how do you avoid uh, in a sport where the women are constantly trying to match up to the to the men uh, the problem of steroids I mean I would think that it would be uh, intrusive into this kind of sport zero tolerance for uh, drugs in our sport it's one of the, the programs that our entire industry is united on uh, we have a very aggressive tennis anti-doping program in competition and out of competition and we want fair play Play across the board. Let me also ask you about rising stars. I mean, everybody knows Venus and Serena Williams, sure. but you hear a name like Kim Kleisters is kind of a blast from the past. Yeah. Who are the kids coming up that are going to be the next uh, yeah, blockbuster tennis players? We've got a, a really players? cool mix of our established stars and some real young rising stars. Caroline Wozniacki is one of those. Victoria Azarenka from Belarus. Agnieszka Redwanska from Poland. Uh, we've got the Chinese that are coming. So we, uh, from a product perspective, you know, we just have this unbelievable mosaic. Uh, to be able to go to the market with. All right, hey, Stacey, thanks so much for thanks joining so much. us today. Stacey Allister, Chairman and CEO of the Women's Tennis Association.